welcome back to the channel everybody um so yeah i thought i'd give you a quick update regarding the content um you all seem to be uh, enjoying what what i'm putting up um that will continue um but it will be expanding um towards site visits as well uh we've got some booked up in the near future something around sort of the hampshire area um and then further afield um towards cornwall and then up the country towards sort of blackpool area so um some different content coming um so hopefully you enjoy that also so the other item that we've just created is our Facebook page. That's going to detail more information uh, around the sites that we're going to, what we've been up to, uh, more videos, pictures, that kind of detail. Um, so again, if, if you're liking the content from this channel, again, if you can consider subscribing to that, that'll be amazing. Um, it has only just been created. So again, there's not many people subscribed so far, but um, yeah, it, it's a starting point. And uh, yeah, if you want to, get involved then uh, yeah please pop over and uh, send a request that'll be great so in this week's video we're going to look at a uh, usb installation uh, i appreciate a lot of the newer caravans will have these in by default but certainly when we got ours that wasn't the case um, so we've had to add that as an additional item so i was just going to show you exactly what we purchased and how that was installed so this is the USB device that we went with. It has two ports. Uh, you've got the option to switch it on and off. Um, and again, when it comes to actually choosing the devices that you're wanting, uh, when you look on the marketplaces, you'll see there's loads of different options available. Uh, you get some that have the voltage reading for the caravan itself. The only thing you need to be mindful of is when these things are on, it doesn't look very bright now, but when you're trying to sleep, it they are quite bright. So just something to consider where you're gonna actually have these located in the van. That might not be a problem for you, but yeah, just something to consider. Um, and all these additional items on there, think about actually, do you need them to start with? If you've got those kind of readings on other devices, then it's just an additional item that, yeah, is gonna be illuminated across your van so yeah just something to consider what the different options that you need and certainly look for a fast charging unit um, again they've come on leaps and bounds since we've had this one um, but again just just take your time and think about what the requirements are as usual about which one that you want so the first part of the installation is working out where you're going to place this in your caravan um, for us like i said it was at the front um, this was a, a plain blank and plate. Um, and what we've done here is looked at the size of the USB uh, hole uh, and then worked out what we needed. Um, so from that, we've used a tool uh, just to cut that out, just so it can pass through. Um, again, I believe you can buy these, these plates as well. So again, if you don't want to cut these out, you can just buy a replacement one that will fit in. Um, and to get access is the same as in the previous video you just take off the panel and unscrew the two screws which will then give you access to the actual usb socket insulation part again you have a, a positive and negative um, terminal on that um, that comes with the kit um, so once you've actually cut the hole out screwed that in place and, and attached the wires um, you can then work out about where you're actually going to connect that to so for us that was on the opposite side and that's that was connected to the 12 volt socket what these kits do come with is the connectors and what the connectors are they have a, a piggyback option on so what would be connected straight to the the 12 volt cigarette lighter to start with they're replaced with the new items that come in the kit and they give you the option then to connect them up but also a second connection so what the uh, mains going in originally into the cigarette lighter they then attach to the outside and then that gives you your two connections uh, without the need to uh, make any cables up or splice them into an existing connection when you're feeding the, the wires across you can just use a something long enough like a bit of plastic rod or anything really um, just to go down through this hole across to here and then you can get access to obviously connecting that back up um, 
once it's there it's, it's, it's straightforward if you haven't got to cut any wires it should just daisy chain straight back into the existing ports that were there before but again all this comes in the the kits that you actually buy so just check what does come in um uh, and again if it's a little bit more money than others that are listed it's probably because like i say you're getting everything that you need so just check the listing of what you're getting in the kit so here's a closer look um at exactly how those connections work and how they daisy chain in um like i say the, the cabling was enough for what we needed we didn't have to splice anything else in but that may be something that you need to consider depending on the location of uh, where you're putting yours but um, if you have it near the 12 volt then it's quite straightforward just to add these additional sockets in um, and again how you go about that whether like I said you you cut a hole using a tool such as this um, to get that through or whether you buy that separately again that's that's a, your preference but to, to cut through them if you've got that that's that space then it is very straightforward to do The other thing to consider is whilst you've got these connections open um, is the way these face these plugs actually face um, you, you tend to find actually that they're, they're normally facing forwards and depending on what model of caravan you've got sometimes these will actually limit what you can plug into them so again just by turning those around it's a good option just to use that time to have it sideways and then that way that gives you additional access depending on what you're you're needing that 240 volt socket for but um yeah just something to consider but like of anything when you're you're using any of the electrics just make sure they are completely switched off before you start so once it's all been fully tested it's just a case of reversing what you've just done and putting it all back together um like new again Putting it back together is simple as that. So hopefully this will be beneficial. Like I say, it's quite a straightforward install as long as it's within sort of the the same area of, of your 12 volt socket. Um, if it's not, then again, you're gonna to need to think about the location of where your, your closest 12 volt connections are and work out how you're gonna splice that in. Um, yeah, places like Halfords will have those connections in so again then they're like a clip connection you put it over the wire and clip it in place and what that does is it then punches uh, a connection through into those wires um, and it stops the need for you having to cut anything um, and solder any additional connections on so again I'll, I'll drop those into the uh, description below but yeah to install these they're quite straightforward it's just about the location um, think about the, the lighting on there, like you say, it's not a disco, you want them for a USB socket, so just think about what you actually need rather than all the different features that you can get with these, because yeah, you can get a little bit carried away with actually what's on there. Again, a bit like the TVs we discussed, but just think about what you actually need, and normally it's just a, a USB socket. Um, probably a fast charging one, so look at the amps, make sure it, 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 can, it pushes out the right um, voltage um, to get you uh, charged because again you don't want these things sat around for ages um, so yeah worth spending the the extra money on that side rather than the, the gimmicks that you can get with these uh, and and as I said before um, yeah obviously we've created the Facebook page and um, yeah if you're liking the content we're here within YouTube hopefully you'll like the content within Facebook and uh, yeah please head over and have a look and think about subscribing to that as well and uh, I'll catch you next week on the next video.